early November, but uh, the temperature was below zero this morning. And you know what? I'm taking advantage of uh, fishing for jumbo perch. Got another nice one on here. I'm just gonna take my time bringing it in. Uh, look, this is what I'm going for. So this time of the year, you know, these uh, jumbos are very easy to find because they're usually on like the 10 to 15 foot breaks. I'm here at the eastern basin of Lake Ontario and just having fun getting one fish after the other one on every drop. So I'm just going to take that out and I'm going to show you what I'm using in just a sec. I'm going to put this guy in the live well. Now here's what I'm using. I'm not using bait today even though I brought some worms up for me and I've got minnows. These are the Fishing Complete Little Fry and they're very tiny. Um, I'm going to say they're about an inch long. This particular one is white. It's what I started with and I'm having good luck. I'm going to show you the way I've been rigging it. So what I'm doing is I'm using a drop shot rig. So here's my uh, weight. That's a quarter ounce bell sinker. And then what I've done, I've uh, just uh, used a uni knot to uh, make my little dropper right here. And then there is that little, little fry. I've got it on a number six bait holder hook. So it's actually a pretty big hook because I'm going for some bigger perch. Now notice that I'm not threading it up the hook all I'm doing is hooking it very lightly at one end so that when I shake it, it's got a really lifelike action. So it's amazing how this works. I've been getting a fish on every drop and it's probably about uh, maybe two, three degrees above zero, but I'm getting these fish and I've located them on my sonar. Let me show you how many fish are up here. I think you can see how many perch are down there. All that you see, all those lines above the bottom, that's perch stacked up. So I'm fishing just off this point you can see that uh, I'm anywhere from about 10 to 14 feet of water. And uh, I'm getting a fish literally on every drop on that little fry. Drop shot, I'll make a short cast. I can get there for about 15 feet. And uh, I'm just gonna shake my rod tip and slowly reel it back so that my little, little fry is actually moving the whole time. So I often do that to find out where the perch are. See so if I can get a fish to come in close to the boat. Once, just missed one. Once I get them in close, I'll just drop it straight down. I'm just going to continue to shake and reel in really slow. I find that when it's on the move, a lot of times some of the bigger perch will grab it and then they'll hold on to it and you get a good hook set. Oh, I had about three hits on that one, so I'm going to try plopping it back out there again. Make sure that uh, little fry looks good, it does. I'm just going to flick it back out there. So, what I'm doing is really working that break from about 10 to about uh, 15 feet. So I'm doing the reel in slowly. What I'm doing is actually bouncing that uh, quarter ounce weight just along the bottom as I'm shaking it. I think that's also helping to attract them a little bit. And then I've got the little fry just above that. Come on. A lot of times you'll get some of the smaller perch that are drawn to it and they'll nip at it, and that's when you feel the hits. I'm waiting for the bigger guys to come along. And that is common there, so. Probably keeper again. Nice fish. See if I can swing him in. Look, it's that simple. You know, for fall fishing, when you're uh, out and it's cold weather, and you know what? I haven't seen anybody else perch fishing out here. He's a great fish to get, and just on that little, little fry, look right there. They're Great fun, even if it's cold, just stress warm, and they're amazing eating from cold water. 